Hey guys, let's get into the vlog, shall we? Let's roll. Hey guys, what's up? Currently 6.40 p.m. I'm starting my next vlog. There's a new vlog up on my channel. Go and check it out. Actually, there's a bunch of new videos on my channel. Go check them all out. I suggest you do. Anyway, um, I will see you guys in a bit. Bye. Damn it. I've heard this in years. Um, anyway, um, just wanted to say hey, uh, it's currently 9.33 p.m. I'm going to bed, and I will see you in the morning. Hey guys, so I'm still not ready for bed. <gasps> I'm kind of tired, but I'm not really, because my anxiety has been through the freaking roof. Anyway, uh, I don't really know. <laughs> Okay. See you guys in the morning. This is in my PJs now. So, I'm going to take my needle, I'm going to sign off for the night, and I will see you in the morning. Good night! Hi guys! Ooh, I look rough, I'm sorry. Don't mind that. Uh, this is the extent of food we have in our house right now. 
pages. So that's my breakfast for the second day in a row. Really happy about that. <sighs> he would set himself on fire. He announced it by speaking into his electronic voice box, and it was really sinister and cool. But also, let's be honest now, a very ridiculous stipulation. So ridiculous, in fact, that everybody said, wait a minute, we can't actually have one of our wrestlers set himself on fire at WrestleMania. But it's so to get rid of this. Ultimately, though, despite being one of the biggest um, wrestlers of the 21st century, Batista's time with Garbage. Backland was one of those classic Canvas. Canvas. Who Canvas. for many years in a row. So, in fairness, there were some excellent moments in the aftermath. Sean was a compelling heel. Yeah. Garbage. Canvases I can't use anymore. Or paint over, for that matter. Both bags. And my room looks really good! Yeah. Feels so red. It can't be wrong. Rocking and rolling all week long. <laughs> what a day. Grooving all week with you. This day is right. Oh, happy day.
tired. Hi, bitches. Hola, bitches. Hey guys, what's up? I'm home. Um, just chilling right now. About two. I'm not really sure. I might actually make lunch, but I kind of want to make lunch. But I think I might take you guys with me to do that. So I don't know what's going on right now. So I'm kind of like uh, I'm really scatterbrained, actually, to be quite honest with you. Completely scatterbrained. So yeah, see you in a bit. Hi guys. I'm gonna be packing for my vacation. Uh, yeah, cause I leave Wednesday, Thursday. What? Anywho, um, I'm just gonna be packing and I will show you what it's done. Or like I'll catch up with you halfway through or something. I don't know. Bye! Lunchtime. Close. I have extra. Probably, uh, probably a little too much, but whatever. I'm not going on a plane, so don't need to wait. Hey. Um, basically, I just need to put my PJs into my backpack. Pills. Um, chargers, but I need those still for the week, so. Yeah. It's too much clothes. I might actually just put that back in there. So I don't know if like I think I have enough t-shirts but I'm not sure so I'm gonna just put a couple more in there guys it's nap time I'll see you on a regular basis and and uh, uh, each and before long he became Huddens' star protege he made his debut later in 1989 for the dying world class championship wrestling defeating journeyman worker Frogman LeBlanc inside the very sportatorium where Austin had long been a spectator at the time Austin admits that Adams had not smartened him up to kayfabe and that the match would have been disastrous had it not been for referee Tony Falk talking him through it Austin worked the match under his real name of Steve Williams which wasn't going to work long term due to the fame of Oklahoma powerhouse Dr. Death Steve Williams. It was Dutch Mantel, the future Zeb Coulter, who rechristened the rookie with the Austin surname, which has remained part of his professional identity in the near 30 years since. When World Plus merged with Memphis's Continental program from USWA in 1990, Austin began making waves in a feud with Adams, while being seconded by Adams' ex-girlfriend Jeannie Clark, whom Austin would later marry in 1992. In the spring of 91, Austin responded to a call from Magnum TA on behalf of WCW. After less than two years in the business, Austin found himself My favorite call. Cool. However, Physically, Austin was not in the greatest shape, and he knew this date. This is nominated by Kevin Bordeball, Brian Evanson, and Peter Myshak. Guys, thank you so much for nominating this show. Like I said, this is a very memorable show for all the wrong reasons. Some mm. good, though, as well. There are some diamonds in the rough with this show, and I'll get to that in a little so bit. So good. The commentary team for this show is... Also, the Doomsday Cage, aka the Tower of Doom, the subject of this evening's main event, is also doubling as the entranceway, which I think is pretty unique, and it's obviously not a great setup for the fans when looking at the match, but I do appreciate the double use of the setup and the prop around which the main event revolves. Opening match for the U.S. Championship as Conan defends against Eddie Guerrero. Now, if you're like me and you didn't start watching wrestling from the late 90s, you know, Monday Night War period, so you're familiar with Conan's look from then, pretty much the present day, it is a bit of a shock to, like, see Conan here in traditional tights and boots and no shirt and doing these high-flying lucha moves. Of course, Conan did some, did, he was still very athletic, 
later on in his years, but there was a dramatic shift between, you know... Guys, I'm probably gonna go to the gym. It is currently 4.55 p.m. I actually have a gym in my complex, so, and I never go down there anymore, because I hate it, because people always interrupt me, and then they turn on the TV when I'm working out, and I'm like, really? I don't want to go with the TV on. Seriously. Anyway. But whatever. Um, so basically, I may just end my vlog here because I have enough footage at this point, but I will see you in a bit. Bye!